What is happening? Welcome to the Pitcher List Live Draft Assistant tutorial video. This is our 2024 draft tool that everyone should be using for their drafts. And this is a PL Pro exclusive. Go to pitcherlist.com slash premium to go get PL Pro today. But what you can do with this is you can draft your auction drafts, you can draft your snake drafts with Pitcher List projections, as well as getting market values. So you have better information than any other draft tool out there to be on top of your draft as it happens. I do not draft without this tool. It is incredible and we've updated it in 2024 and let me go over this. So at the very beginning, you're going to see this page and you're going to obviously have a tutorial tutorial article and of course this tutorial walkthrough video. Obviously nothing's going to appear right now because I'm recording this right now, but the tutorial article is already made and it's going to go to this lovely Google Doc that's going to go over everything I'm saying right now. Also, uh, the first thing you are going to do is you're going to fill out all of your league settings. I'll go over those in a second. And then you're going to click update settings. Now, this is the toughest part. And this is the thing you should pay attention to the most. You click update settings and we have a lot of scripts that we are running in the back end. You need to approve these. So what is that process? You're going to click OK. You're going to sign into your Google account that you have. Then you are going to click this advanced button and then scroll down to go to PL automate. It is safe. Do not worry. And then lastly, scroll down to allow. That is it. Okay. And then once that is all set, you are going to then click update settings. So these scripts are going to run up here. And while they do that, I'm going to go over what we have here. We obviously have different scoring types. So you have your categories, you have your roto, you have your points, you have your auction and your snake built into this. Um, you have just the picture list projections this year uh, because we improved them. They are the 2.0 version. Uh, if you don't know, our projections use pitch modeling. Unlike any other projection system out there, it is unique and incredible. Um, you can go up to 30 teams this year. You can go anywhere from 8 to 30 inside of our tool, which is amazing. You also can choose from your host site. So ESPN, Fantrax, CBS, Yahoo. Those have different eligibility settings. Those are built into the tool as well as the points leagues defaults, which are fantastic. For an auction league, you can set in, of course, your minimum bid and your draft budget. You can also choose between AL only and NL only leagues. And of course, is this a keeper league or not? And then you can also say, look, do I want to have a larger weight for hitters versus pitchers for my draft values? Also, of course, you're going to be inputting your roster size. You're going to have middle infield, corner infield, all of that stuff. You're going to go through your team names. I, of course, have my team name as number one is Nick Pollock. But if I had this eighth pick, I'd be putting myself here and then selecting the check mark. Um, of course, you can go through different categories. If you're in a categories league, what is your league uh, playing with? And then the points, individual values for your points leagues. And then I would do all that and click update settings again. And once that is all updated, remember, you click it once, you run through the OKs, then you click update settings a second time. It's all run right now. So now we're going to go through what this offers now that you have these settings. And because you've inputted this, it updates our projections to give you the proper dollar values. But beforehand, you have to put in your keepers. And this is a very simple keeper input. You select the team from the drop down. You select the player. You can type in their name in here. And if it's auction draft, you put in the price. And if it's the round, you put in the round. And then the position you put in is going to be hard coded into the roster. That is, if they adapt as the draft goes on, it is not going to overwrite it. It's not going to move them. So make sure you put in the correct position you want allocated for that player. Uh, the roster is going to be over here and standings are going to be here. We'll get to those in a moment. Right now, we're going to talk about the big board. And the big board is where you are going to live. This is how you draft everyone. The draft board is a nice, helpful place to review the entire draft. And we are uh, working right now on an update so that you can actually add players to the draft through the draft board. Right now, it is only inside of the big board because when I've done my drafts, this is where I live. And if you can see here cl closely, you'll notice that we have market values Market values are updated here. We have market sources that you can choose. We do the average of all of these, but we have data that says when these guys are drafted and what their average auction dollars are. This is so valuable. You can see based on us how we value these players and what the market is going to do. And we are highlighting where there's value to be had, where we think that you are going to get a value in your drafts. Cattell Marte to us is better than what the market price is. However, we think that Bryce Harper might be going a little too much of a premium at the moment and so on. As you can see, there's usually more of a spread at the top as far as market values go. And generally, that's how it works. 
If you want more about auction drafts, definitely check out Ariel Cohen's uh, presentation from PitchCon. It's on our YouTube channel, PitcherList, uh, youtube.com slash PitcherList. The art and science of auction drafts. Uh, this is what we're using as our basis for this as we have our PitcherList dollar values and then the market values. And then you are getting a quick look to see where those market values can be exploited for your drafts. It is incredible. Of course, the side uh, sideways scroll so you can see everybody available. Now, as you go through the draft, so let's say I am going to draft him and I'm going to draft him for $50, okay? Give it a moment to update. It will always take some time, but it will remove him from all the different places. And then you'll see on the draft board, it will be updated, Ronald Acuna, and you will shortly see that we have the color coordination for uh, for the player. So I'm just going to go through and try to give it a little moment uh, to to update as we go. Um, let's go here. Team three is going to be here. Say $40. Uh, team f uh, four is going to go here. This is going to be $38. Bobby Witt goes to team five at 35 or 36. Adley Rutschman, why not? They wanted to get a, a, a catcher early. There you go. Uh, and I'm doing this on purpose in this way so that you can see that we have all of the different, uh, the different values for the for the positions inside of the draft board um he spent thirty dollars on this and let's say team nine over here um spent twenty three dollars on this and as you can see also it blocks them out um, once they have been drafted which is absolutely incredible i love this um it's a really great way to just keep tabs of your draft as you go um, and then if you go into the draft board, you'll see the different colors that we have assigned. It's taken a moment. Of course, we'll get to Team 9 in a second. But you can see that we have position now associated by color. Much better look than it was last year. I absolutely love this. Um, and it looks fantastic. And also, you'll see that the best remaining uh, is going to be removing these players as it goes. So this is a really great way to go through to your different positions and say, okay, cool. Who is the best dollar value left at a position? You can also, of course, see that inside of the, the draft board here the big board, but if you're just trying to look at projections exactly as opposed to just what the dollar values are, this is the way that you can see it. It's a really quick and easy way to do it. And of course, you can do that for pitchers as well over here, and you'll see that the pitching stats are here as well. This is, of course, to your league settings. Based on what your league settings are, this will change. In addition, you'll see the rosters are updated over here, and we have this new addition of left dollars and their max bids as well added to everyone so you can keep track of that uh, during the draft, which is such a fun addition. I'm really happy we were able to do that this year. You can see how much they spent. And of course, going back to this, you see, of course, the, the draft as it goes. We will get to a point where you're at, uh, you're able to, let's say, I don't know, I want Cole Reagans here. Uh, that's not how you spell it. It's not going to do it. You can actually do this here. However, do not draft this way. You have to do it through the big board at the moment. We will have an update shortly uh, that allows you to draft through the draft board itself. And last but not least, we have our standings tab. And you can see that I have the most points right now because I have Ronald Acuna. And it takes all the projections, throws them together. You can see in the moment how you are doing with home run, uh, runs, RBI, etc. So this is our tool. We are so excited about this. It looks better than ever. Uh, and make sure you take, check out the tutorial article for a couple more extra tips about how to utilize this. Let us know um, how you feel about it in the Discord. We have a thread dedicated to the Live Draft Assistant tool for your feedback, for any sort of uh, questions that you have about it. But you have to get PL Pro today if you don't have it already and watching this video. This is the number one tool in the business. It is as simple as possible. And utilizing our PLB projections that we absolutely adore with market values built in. So go check it out today at pitchless.com slash premium. But that, that is it for today. Happy drafting, everybody.